Point Middle School. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, and it is an A-Day. My name is Hope. And my name is Noah. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Lacey H. and Miss Ronnie. The weather today is 60 degrees and rainy. Now a message from Miss Weinstein. Good morning, everyone. Um, I want to talk to those of you who applied to species for your magnet. Um, the assessments, as you probably know, are December 10th and December 17th. This morning, and as you probably know, one of your requirements is that you complete a resume that will look something like this. So for those of you applying to species, you are going to get a pass from me this morning to come to a resume writing workshop third period with Ms. Bonning and myself. So if you apply to species and this morning for during first period you do not get a pass, please come to the office and we will give you a pass to come to this resume writing workshop. Um, the rest of the assessments are in January. Some of them require math, and Ms. Russell will be holding help sessions on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. I will come on and give you more information about those, and I think that's it. Have a lovely day, everybody. Sad Club will meet this Thursday after school in room 200. Spurs Point has on sale through December 2nd. Please help us warm our community by filling our SPMS mitten tree. To decorate the tree, please bring in hats, scarves, mittens, gloves, and socks. Trashy Fashion Show will show this Friday at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Doors open at 5.30. Tickets sold at the door, five for adults, three for students. Trashy Fashion Club is meeting today, Thursday and Friday. No art club this week. Now a message from Ms. Washington. Hi, good morning, good morning. Welcome to this wonderful Wednesday to all of our staff and students. Students, although it is dark and gloomy outside, I am hoping that you are still focused and ready to learn. I feel as if I have not been here for quite some time, so I have a couple of things I want to share uh, with you. Uh, the first thing is I'd like to thank uh, the SAD Club. Uh, I, they presented uh, me with several uh, Thanksgiving or thankful grams that I have displayed in my office. So I definitely wanted to publicly thank them for doing that. Again, uh, students, you're the reason why I do what I do every day. So I wanted to show my appreciation for uh, the effort that you put forth um, by sending me those thank you grams. Now, Penny Wars. Again, I know you all are waiting for the total. Well, you already know the sixth grade one. You already know that. Eighth graders, you all are terrible. Just kidding, but not, not, not really. But sixth grade, you guys won. So what's going to happen within the next week, I'm hoping to get the actual tally and the score. Because sixth grade, I have something very special planned for you. Cannot tell you what it is right now because it's going to be a surprise. However, I have something special planned for all of our sixth grade students. Again, great job to the seventh and eighth grade students because again, all of those funds go towards the sixth grade class fund, the seventh grade fund, and the eighth grade fund. So when we talk about going on field trips and different things that Mr. Rizzi spoke about earlier in the year, that's where those, uh, the proceeds will go towards um, those efforts. Now, attendance. On Monday, the attendance for sixth grade was at 94.2%. Seventh grade was 94.6%. Eighth grade, 93.7%. So way to go, seventh grade. You were in the pet you won that uh, Monday. So I'm so proud. Good job to our seventh graders. Now, on yesterday, which was Tuesday, our sixth graders were at 95%. Our seventh graders were at 91%. And our eighth graders were at 88%. Now, eighth grade, we, we're going to have a special conversation. I'm so excited uh, when I have a conversation with you all because we have some things we have to discuss in order to make sure that we're all getting through this year on the right foot. So I'm looking forward to my meeting with all my eighth grade students. Now, there are a couple of other things I do need to discuss. So again, students and staff, please bear with me. Students, I need to talk with you about cell phones. I feel like I'm going, I'm saying this 
every day and it's going in one ear and out of the other. And that is driving me crazy. Cell phones should be off and out of sight. That means they're not in your hand when you're walking in the hall. You're not on it when you're walking in the hall. You're not taking pictures, posing for selfies. You're not texting. You're not doing any of those things because it's off and out of sight. Now, I know many of you are probably thinking, well, Ms. Washington, my parents are texting me. I get it. So what I'm going to do is also have conversations with your parents because at this point, if your parents are contacting you during school hours and they know that you are here, we have several phones in the building that I'm going to encourage your parents to call. Um, and they can speak directly with me, uh, but I'm, I'm, I need your help, students, because the cell phone piece is really becoming an issue. Your teachers are asking you to put the phones up. Many of you are flexing and telling them, no, you are not doing that. And those are, I'm, I'm having some heartburn with that. So I really want to take this time to really kind of go back over the importance of complying with the rules the first time they are given, even if you don't like the rules. So I'm going to say this again, cell phones. Students, I need you to do your part by keeping your phones off and out of sight. They should not be on your desktop in your class. I'm saying this with teachers listening as well, because if it's becoming an issue, and teachers are saying it's becoming an issue, so teachers, please allow students to put their phones up at this time. Phones should be off and out of sight, not on desktops, because it becomes a problem. And then what happens, students forget that. They come in the hallway with their phones, and I am the crazy lady with the yellow bullhorn, and I'm telling you, put the phone up. So please, students, put your phone up, please, and thank you. Also, if a staff member asks you for your phone, I need you students to understand that it's not really a question, okay? Students, it's not a question. And I need you to, instead of flexing, I need you to think about the consequences for you flexing with that adult by saying no. I need you to think about that. Second thing, noise in the hall. This morning, I had the privilege of standing outside near the cafeteria, and lots of my lovely eighth graders, you were running up the stairs, and you saw me, and a student says, I can't believe you let Ms. Washington see your face, and you're running and yelling in the hall. Yes, I saw you. The noise in the hall is becoming a problem. And for some of our students, you think it's funny. And I'm going to think it's funny, too, but in a different way. So I need you to stop it. This is a place for learning. And we cannot learn if students are being disruptive and disrespectful. So again, noise in the hall. Level of disrespect. I just talked about that with the cell phone piece. Uh, students, I do need your help. And again, we have 550 students here, and I love all 550 students, uh, but there are a few where you make it a little challenging for us, and I need to work with you to help you get it together. But the level of disrespect is becoming a concern um, because several students, and you normally are great students, you normally follow the rules, you do what's asked the first time, now all of a sudden you're not doing those things. You are trying to be more uh, of a follower. You're not being a leader. And you're trying to do things that you think are funny, and it's not funny. And there's a difference between laughing with and laughing at. Laughing with you, laughing at you. So students, again, I'm taking this time this morning because this is very important, and I want to make sure that we're starting our day off on a positive note, and I feel that sometimes we do have to have these tough conversations. This is our family. We are a family, and I think it is very important that we take time to discuss those things because this will help us and this will strengthen our family. Last thing, getting to class on time. Students, I'm seeing some of you in the hall walking at a turtle's pace like you have nowhere to be, you have nothing to do, and that bothers me. 
Now here we're, Ms. Uh, Weinstein is talking about the species program. We're talking about magnet applications. There was a dress for success piece last week. And students, again, we're preparing you for the world of work. You cannot come to a job late. You will not be employed there very long. So all of these things that we're trying to do now is not to make your lives miserable. We don't go home and think about what we can do to make the students here at Sparrows Point Middle crazy. We don't do that. We're trying to prepare you for the world of work. You all will be the leaders of tomorrow. So you right now, you will be the doctors, teachers, lawyers, police officers, uh, mayors, all of those things in our building right now. And so students, I really need your help. And again, if you can tell, I'm not fussing, but I am having this tough conversation with you because I'm passionate about making this school a safe place for students and for teachers. Teachers come to school every day and they don't come to be mistreated by students. They don't come here for that. They don't come here every day to be mistreated. And I'm taking time to have this conversation because this is very serious. And at this point, if we continue to have the concerns and the issues that we're having, then Ms. Washington will have very specific um, conversations with those students in question. But I wanted to open this up to the entire school. That way everyone understands and you hear it from me uh, because I know many of you, you hate rumors. So I wanted you everybody to hear it from me I'm the person who's saying it. So I do need your help, students, with coming to class on time, with following directions, with being respectful to your classmates and to the staff in this building, even if they are not your teacher. They are still an adult in this building, and you still need to respect them. Again, cell phones need to be off and out of sight. So I'm hoping that because I've taken two to five minutes to have this conversation, I'm hoping that this will allow some of you to get it together. And if it doesn't, I will have another conversation uh, with those of you who want to see me flex. Okay, so that's all I have for right now. Again, students, I want you to make it a great day or not. The choice is always totally up to you. Either way, students, I'm going to love you regardless. Even if you think I'm fussing today, I still love you. Make it a great day or not. Again, back to our fabulous news crew. Today's lunch, buffalo chicken pizza, chicken patty sandwich, regular spicy, cheesesteak sub, ham and cheese salad with soft pretzel, seasoned potato wedges, crisp coleslaw, delicious corn, and peaches. Hey all there book clubbers out there, this announcement is for you. We will be having a special book club meeting today, that's right, today, to create a special and exciting treat for the school and the library. Meet Ms. Farrell and Ms. Wedmore in the library after school until 3.30. See you there. And now for the word No, Swain. Now a message from Mr. Swain. I do not have a word of the week, I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to make a quick announcement. Um, next Tuesday will be our first meeting of Guitar Club, so if you are interested in playing guitar, um, we meet 2.45 to about 3.30. Um, you don't have to bring your guitar, I have a bunch in the room. If you want to bring your own, you can keep it in my room. It'll be nice and safe. Um, so if you're interested, come see me anytime before Tuesday, and then hopefully we'll see you then. See ya. Quiz Bowl team members need to see Mr. Rizzi following announcements if you have not already met with him yet. And now for the word of the week. We've learned that the word of the week begins with the letter P and can be used to describe or an al describe drawing or an author's point of view. Today's clue, the word of the week, is to answer the question, what gives a flat picture depth? Find the word on the Beyond the Word wall poster and then find Principal Washington or Ms. Bonding during the change of classes. Use the word in a sentence that shows you know the meaning and get a prize. And the quote of the day, believe in life, W.E.B. Du Bois. Thanks for watching. I'm Hope. And I'm Noah. Remember to have pride in all that you do.